bike blogger here. So here's my saddle. Isom Adamo Typhoon. It's a, uh, I think it's a PR 3.0. That's what it's called now by uh, ISM Saddles. Uh, so I've gone back to my more comfortable, plush, bigger saddle um, to get more comfort. Basically, uh, for a long time, I've used uh, my Charge Knife saddle. It's just about as comfortable as it sounds. But now I'm going back to the ISM Adamo uh, for more comfort. I actually got it tipped or tilted down a little bit. Um, I think I'm going to straighten it out though, level it out. Um, you can, you know, put more weight on your handlebars if you have your saddle tilted down a little bit. Uh, some people do that, uh, especially some people who race and want to get really low as possible. Um, but uh, obviously I have more relaxed uh, setup here because I have my handlebars up real high. Um, anyway, so yeah, what's your favorite saddle? Let me know in the comment section below. The bike blogger here on my way to work. Topic of the day. What's your favorite saddle? Topic of the day. So I'm riding with a different saddle today. Uh, it's got a cut out, which means there's a hole in the middle of the saddle uh, to relieve some pressure on those delicate areas. Um, for the longest time I've uh, used a saddle called the Charge Knife. It's a very traditional road saddle, um, doesn't have a cut out. Very basically pretty dang comfortable but comfort doesn't necessarily mean good anatomically uh, but it is very much up to personal preference you know I've read that uh, if you ride for like two hours with like a really cushy saddle that it's actually not good for you either or it'll uh, it'll actually start feeling less comfortable than a more firm saddle. Like I said, what is this UPS guy doing? Let's turn around. Turning around in the intersection. So, uh, a cushy saddle is nice for maybe an hour, but uh, it can get less comfortable. All these construction going on. There was this other um, section of road uh, for like weeks. They didn't have cones around it. You had to be very careful because if you fell into it, it was like a humongous pothole. Pretty dangerous. Anyway, with saddles, it does seem to be very much up to personal preference. Um, and it comes, it sort of incorporates bike fit. Uh, from what I've basically been able to gather from bicycle saddles, riding a bike so much, I do prefer a more road, a more firm type of saddle. Um, and from what I've gathered, it seems like there is no one perfect saddle. Now, if you do have a one perfect saddle, let me know in the comments section below. Um, it seems like there's a good saddle for each type of riding position or riding style, but that's about it. There is no one saddle that works great when you're sitting upright and when you're sitting really low. You kind of got to decide what type of saddle you want to get. This is a weird intersection. It's, uh, Ishway? That one said do not enter, but if I make a U-turn now, I can go back this way. <laughs> oh, it's a little confusing at this section. I guess I could have made a left over there. I don't know why. It said do not enter, so 
maybe I, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> oh, waking up in the morning, waking up in the morning, on our way to work. Woo. So yeah, the saddle I, uh, probably gonna put at the beginning of this video is a saddle I was using in the interim between my charge knife and what I'm riding now. Uh, that saddle is an ISM saddle. They're popular with uh, they're right. popular with triathletes. And those types of saddles, they have a shorter, uh, they're not as long. Uh, because for triathletes or a time trialist, I guess, you want to just kind of get in a comfortable low position and maintain that position for, I don't know, like an hour. Um, so it's very specific. Is this one way? Did I miss a sign? I just see cars parking and facing this way, so kind of feel like it's a one-way street, but uh, let's take it nice and easy here. Woo. So yeah, um, that was an ISM Madama Typhoon. It's a nice big saddle. It's a heavy saddle, but hey, comfort's more important than weight, in my opinion. Uh, all right, let's get back on the main drag. Had nobody around. Nobody around. Oh, I heard something like a. I ran over a little paper clip or something. Let's stop at the bottom of the hill. Let's stop at the bottom of the hill. always check your uh, should always check your tires after you feel like you hit something that might it might start lodging itself through oh well, by the way I got some new tires uh, they're continental usually I run Schwalbe brand but uh, I got these continental tires because I like the uh, they're like uh, the yeah, tires look fine. Uh, they're uh, skin wall. I thought we'd try some skin wall. So, maybe I'll give you a shot of the bike at the end of the video. Show you the new tires and my new saddle I'm running right now. So, the saddle I'm using right now is a road specific kind of a saddle. Uh, now you're probably thinking to yourself, bike vlogger. What well, does it matter what saddle you use? You're always climbing out of the saddle anyway on your single speed up the hills and stuff. You're not really sitting all that much. Uh, I've actually kind of wondered that myself. Uh, I feel like, you know, maybe I should go back to the videotape and see. But uh, I would say I probably do spend more than 50% of my time on a bike in the saddle but because our roads are pretty bumpy and you know viewers might say otherwise I'm often just lifting myself a little bit out of the saddle whenever I reach some bumps I can't avoid or I don't bother to avoid um, Uh, so yeah, I am quite often not having my butt on the saddle, really. Um, there was actually a video not too long ago where I just rode my bike to work without ever sitting down. <laughs> Building a house there. Whew. If you haven't noticed yet, we're uh, going to work a slightly different way. Taking the quiet uh, side streets here. So, 
home. There's a library to the right and a high school straight ahead. Uh, it's late August 2018. I think the kids are all back in school now. Oh, my nose is kind of acting up. Haven't really had this problem until recently. Uh, we have, we've had a really nice uh, week this week. I mean, it's been a high of about a uh, 80 Fahrenheit. It's been much, much. Uh, Much, much, much cooler. I saw a sign back there, substitute teachers needed. Substitute teachers needed. Get yourself a job, the economy supposedly roaring along. I could very well be wrong, but uh, we've had the longest uh, stock market run now maybe in U.S. history, and uh, I don't mean to give any sort of, uh, you know, market advice or anything, but I'm getting a little uh, anxious myself. Um, I'm thinking maybe taking some, uh, some money out of stocks and putting it in the bonds, because I feel like a crash is coming. It's just been too long that we've been uh, roaring along with this American economy. Okay. Perfect. We made it just in time for all the traffic. Oh well, here comes traffic that way. Let's go this way. Oh. There's the high school. That high school is actually shared with the middle school here in Maplewood, Missouri. Uh, so yeah, that's a little tidbit of information. I'm just wasting time waiting for traffic to pass, okay? Okay. Get ourselves lined up here. Cut through the chicken joint. It's just a, it's just a mob front anyway, right? Anyone watched uh, Breaking Bad before? That was a, that was an interesting show. Do not enter! Oh my gosh! Let's watch out for the chicken customers. Off to work we go. Da, 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 da. They repaved this road and it's nice and smooth, but the road north of Manchester, that junction behind me, is really bumpy. Oh. Oh yeah, saddles, yeah. So, it's hard for me to give many tips about saddles. It's kind of a try and buy thing, or a buy then try. Uh, if you got a nice local bike shop, maybe they'll let you try out various saddles. Um, it's just kind of one of those things you gotta, gotta kind of get used to. Oh yeah, I gotta show you my saddle. Hang on, there's our kind. Here we go. Here's my saddle. It's a Pro Logo Dimension. Uh, the width is 143. Uh, it's got a cutout. I also have a fender uh, zip tied to it. Uh, it's very comfortable out of the box. We'll see how it lasts. Uh, so, uh, yeah, any questions, let me know.
Let's go. All right. Finish this commute now. Ugh. It's a little bit of a hassle taking the camera off the bike and then uh, putting it back on the bike. It takes a little bit of time. You guys don't see it because, uh, you know, I just edit that part of the video out. But I spent probably about 30 seconds taking the camera off the bike and 30 seconds putting it back on. Oh, and now it's much cooler again because we're moving again. Woo. All right, we're at work now. Thanks for a lot watching, fellas and gals. Uh, so yeah, let me know what your favorite saddle is and uh, maybe post a link to it. Let everybody know. Share the love. We'll see you next time.